Now I'm also upstairs at the Land Speed Networking. Not speed dating, speed networking. It's not available for dates, Lord Charlesby. Thank you very much for chatting to me. Now tell me a little bit about why you're here and what you're here to talk about. Well, we came uh, firstly to hold a seminar on how uh, British estates can best position themselves as event venues. Um, and the reason why that was important for me to get involved with is because we're opening up our estate for the first time and we see events as very much the, the vision of how the estate's going to survive in the future. So um, really I was sharing my story with, with the people and also um, uh, getting panels, a panel of experts to come in and share their insights and, and give feedback on, on what I should do and more generally what you know, estates can do. Tell me a bit more about your estates and what you've got to offer. Well, um, our estates, Shaftesbury Estates, is in Dorset, and um, we've got a, a large park and a grade one listed house that has been uh, largely sort of left standing for about 50 years. And we're just um, overseeing a process of restoring that. The, the, the house is almost ready uh, for us to move back into after 50 years. And the grounds are going to uh, be ready towards the end of this year. And um, so we've started doing our first event last year, which is called the uh, Grand Shaftesbury Run. And uh, we're looking just to expand on that and build, build in, hopefully, weddings, uh, music events, food festivals, whatever we can, really, that fits and works with our space. And how important is Confex for people like yourselves? How important are events like this? Well, I think it's very important because I think, you know, a big part of this is being able to um, exchange ideas, meet promoters, meet event organizers and, um, and see if you can work together. So I think, you know, having this conference has been really, really great as a way of meeting people. And how was the seminar? What were what the key sort of focus points in the seminar? Well, the seminar was good because, as, as I say, there was, we had a panel of, uh, of people that represented different um, areas of, of, of events. And we had Hugh Villamore from the Cornbury Festival, who's obviously someone who's successfully put on a, a, a fairly large-scale festival several years. It's James Weld at Lulworth Estate, um, who's been um, you know, really turning his estate around and running several events on it very successfully. So almost a kind of role model for, for me to sort of uh, uh, get to. And, and Simon Foster, who's a consultant who advises estates on how to generate new uh, revenue streams and build events. So there was a good cross-section of, of, uh, of experience. And uh, I, I, I think it was, it was certainly helpful for me, but I hope it was helpful for other people who came and, uh, and saw it too. And looking at big events like Glastonbury and stuff like that, what can you learn from big events that happen? Um, well, I mean, I think uh, it's, it's difficult to say, to compare anything to Glastonbury because it's so huge. And I think, you know, they can't have that, that many of those t types of festivals. But I think, um, A, that, you know, the, the festival scene in, in the country is, is still really popular. A lot of people think that the market's quite saturated now, but there's lots of new festivals coming up all the time that are doing okay. Um, and I think there's an awful lot they do around the production and sort of management of the festival, which is top class, that you can certainly learn from. Um, how to, you know, obviously manage traffic, camping, um, you know, the layout, and all the logistics, really. I think they're, they're, they're a really important uh, festival for looking at. And events like this, we've got the speed networking now. Why are things like this so important for yourself? Well, again, it's sort of meeting, meeting people that are involved in different facets of the industry, um, swapping ideas. Often, you know, we only see things from a landowner's perspective, but actually what we really want to know is how can we make our venues um, easier to navigate for promoters or, you know, people coming in with ideas. So, you know, I think it's really essential to just always chat and, and make these connections and find out what people want. And you've got estates going public this year. Tell me a bit more about that. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, so the restoration project started really last year. We did actually do an event last year, so that was our sort of first, you know, launch. But um, as we develop the park and the grounds more, we're just hoping to bring in more and more events. So um, this year will be a pretty big year for us. Lord Shabs, thank you very much for chatting to me. Back to Naomi.